Hello and welcome back. This is Frederick from Tech Nordic. Today I'm going to give you a little bit more insight in the Signal View PC, uh, which is mainly running our RSA's uh, USB spectrum analyzer. So today I'm connected with an RSA 607A. Uh, I'm going to just look at my car key, which is uh, from a, the biggest manufacturer in Sweden. So let's go start it. If it's still a bit too quick, I will tell you a little bit later. So we start with this. We have a frequency. We put 868 meg, span 10 meg, we go into this one to amplitude, put the preamp on, and I go down to minus 30 just to click. Yeah, you can see there's a signal down here. I recommend people to use the DPX in this way just to make sure that you have, you know, kind of a control of the environment because this is real time. And I will go into what we call a split here. So when I run the split, I can see if the same frequencies or not if I press this a little bit more I can force it to another frequency hopefully yeah you can see there's another frequency so it's kind of shifting the frequencies this transmitting on when then this is done the first step is to go for the spectrum to look and we're gonna trigger so I go for the trigger triggered and we put the uh, down to minus 50 or something I just gave. yeah so now we're triggered so if I press this a couple of times people asking me what's happening here because I press one time and it triggers a couple of times what is actually happening so if I press stop here and I press one more time it stopped and when it stopped I go can go to file acquisition data info and select the data records and I can see I have 53 of them and if I show the toolbar I can just replay them all of them so if in here I can look at this from different ways so one thing is which, which is really really important for you to know is that we have something called uh, a navigator view the navigator view gives me an insight of the portion I do the FFT and the portion I analyze my data and you can see this is a little bit too short so we need a little bit longer time to you know, see some of the content in this signal so I go for stop this one and I go for acquire and I go into here and I put this 10 meg but we said one millisecond instead so I run this I press and you can see what happens here is that still the standard interface again it's just looking at 22 you know approximately microseconds of time and I have much much more time so in this case I know 300 milliseconds is probably the right value 300 milliseconds so I press I press and you can see that you have the burst here but you also see the trigger point is in the middle so I need to go to trigger to advanced and change it to we can set it to three percent and run again and when I do that you can see the trigger point is over here I run it again I run it again I run it again I run it again you know and I want to run it a couple of times you know, each of these when I press stop you know all this acquisition will be stored in the memory so hopefully I can get you some good idea you know some good examples here while doing this so I'm just pressing you can hear when I'm pressing so it says acquiring down in the right corner here and when I press it will be to start transferring okay so I press stop this is a little bit, and it will be a, like a board without finishing. I usually just press one more time and the, the problem is gone. So if you go here to define now, you can see that I collected 11 of those. Each of them is 300 milliseconds, but we're lo just looking at the small, small part of this. Oh, my IT department again. Uh, so here we can control where we want to do our spectrum maybe I want to do my spectrum over here and I press in the middle here and I replay so this is the spectrum here I can do it over here and I can replay so for example if you want to do amplitude versus time measurement that's a good example I replay but I will only do the small portion over here which is linked to analysis it's a small portion if I drag it over here and press replay I will actually look at the full of that one maybe I can do a little bit better like this and here's the amplitude 
so the blue bar over here is where I want to do my analysis and the red top over here is when I do my I want to do my spectrum so I close this one and I open another window which is useful is a spectrogram and now I can try to replay all of them I can start from the beginning and then I replay all now I replay you know, 10 of these signals and hopefully one of them will give me a little bit more insight of it and you can see now it's stop and if I auto scale you can see the different stops I have I had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 so this is the 11th stop now I want to go in and try to look at this from a more detail so I collected all of this I can put my key on my desk again and I'm happy so let's try to demodulate this one so first of all we can do is we can go marker to peak and here's the marker so we're a little bit offset to center and we can put this to 8 meg and uh, we can just replay last one and I will auto scale that one this is this it looks really nice and we also have something in the end here so if I move this blue bar and I just press the middle one I will look at this one and you can see high power and then low power high power and low power these are the two bursts okay so let's get rid of that so let's look at the, the coding in here there is some coding so we know that there should be an analog modulation like an FM modulation over here so we go here and I just press replay and this is what you get out if you just want to buoy on the top to get some data out we can do replay again but it's still not you know it's still not good enough so if we click here and I click at the toolbar here we can have the measurement filter but that can also go for auto scale and the auto scaling is probably too much data but if you look at this one it's gonna be a little bit easier to understand so we have this one it seems to be 1010 zero, zero, and in the end here I just and here's some more data we can even do it a little bit more short like this so 1 1 etc so what you can do here to make it a little bit finer is to change the bandwidth to 80k and you redo it and it's a little bit smoother okay I think you get the point so let's move into this one when we want to do a general purpose demodulation and we go for constellation in this case it's easy it's a 2 FSK I think the symbol rate is 11.5 um, round 0.5 K okay. and we don't use any filters in this case and I press replay and here we have it you know it's not really perfect but it's good it's good enough and when we do done it we can have the symbol errors we have everything we can go for this one frequency deviation could be zero one hertz no that doesn't really matter oh 1k no it's out it should be like 8k we put 10k in I'm doing the wrong way now it's probably out of like 7k okay so we have this one and now what we can do and this is the thing I like is that we can go to the general purpose modulation go to symbol table and open it and we can just rerun again and but we want to have more time so we're going to fill this up a little bit and redo it and suddenly you can see that you have a line of zero zero one one zero zero one one and this is the code and in the end of the key if I redo it again end of this key end of this you can see some of these other data so if I add a marker we have one marker here. if I press it I can see where it is so I'm just moving the mar one marker but if I add another marker add marker I have two of them so and how you change them is that you mark this one is green now now this is green and then the green one can be moved this one is grayed out and the gray one can be moved out the other question I got from time to time is saying that you know oh I have a different frequency you know I have something that's jumping around and if you go for tools uh, setup and uh, uh, analysis there is a here 
a tab you know, under analysis. So you can lock center frequency of spectrum display measurement frequency or you don't do it. So if I would move this a little bit to the side, like you can probably in the end understand that this is probably not going to work at all. You see? So this is a way to tune and you can also tune in some cases the width of this one is related to, to the bandwidth settings you have. So now I can just replay everything. And of course, it's not always I have something. But I, I hope you enjoy this. You know, next time we can do some more, more funny, funny stuff. But this is how you tweak it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. And have a great evening.